Well, to me, President Monson really exemplified optimism and faithfulness even in the face of adversity and that's something that I hope to add to my life and obviously with the mission change um, that affected my life personally because that allowed me to um, leave my mission when I was 18 and come back to college here and so that announcement that he made really affected my life personally and I just He's a figure and a person that I hope to be like in my life. I just kind of always knew that he was a prophet. There was never a moment where I, I doubted that. There's just something about him that every time you see him, you just get a good feeling about it. And I, I love that about him. You just you couldn't look at him and not feel good about it. Um, he said something that uh, really helped me in my life when he said, dare to stand alone. And I thought that related to me because uh, there were times that I had to growing up, and it was good to know that he had been there before and that he, that he knew what it was like too, and that he told me it was okay to do that. I love President Monson because every time he talked, I felt like the words he said were short and sweet, but were very loving and caring towards each member, and you could really feel that love through his actions and his conference talks and everything that he did through his life. I think that is his life can attest for his love that he has for Christ. I, I read his book to the rescue. I always uh, loved him uh, ever since I've been in the church. He's he's uh, been either an apostle or, or in the first presidency, and and uh, I just love that he uh, connected with everyone at their level. He just loved people, and uh, like I said, to me he was everyone's uh, and every man's uh, prophet. I really appreciated President Monson's example of how in tune with the Spirit he was and how willing he was to follow promptings and how able he was to recognize those promptings. And that's something that I look up to. I love the quote that, or the counsel that he gave to a member of the 70 where he said, it is better to look up. Um, I remembered that. He said that years ago and it's just really stuck with me and helped me to remember that we need to look up to Christ and be, be positive and be optimistic and President Monson definitely exemplified that in the way that he lived his life. President Monson for me, he has been the prophet during the most important years of my life um, from being a teenager through serving my mission and I guess just kind of his attitude of service and his optimism has had a really big impact on me and I think a quote that I'll always remember from President Monson is when he, I kind of think of him as being on the Lord's errand always, and when he said, um, I've always wanted the Lord to know that when he needs an errand to be run, that Tom Monson will be willing to run that errand for him. And so kind of just that attitude that he's always had of being willing to serve and being on the Lord's errand has been something that's had a huge impact on me. On October 6, 2013, I turned 19, and I remember that morning calling my mom and being frustrated because I had to wait two more years to be able to serve a mission. I was like, I don't know if I can wait that long. It's just too hard. And then I walked down immediately after that and went to watch General Conference, and the first thing that happens is President Monson gets up and announces the age change for both elders and sisters. And I was able to go on a mission. And in that moment, I just bawled. I cried. <laughs> I cried and I just knew that he was a prophet and that he was inspired of God. And it changed my life. I'm so glad I got to serve a mission when I did. And I'm so grateful that I was able to follow President Monson's example. So I just think of, uh, of all the service he did especially to the widows of the ward that he, he was served as a bishop, 22 years old, and um, was able to, to, I guess he, he spoke at every one of their, fu their funerals of those widows. He was able to give uh, Christmas gifts uh, every year uh, to those, every one of the widows. And we'd go to their house and just, uh, and that was, uh, a, you know, the, the uh, genuine uh, person that he is and really uh, learned from that. And I think the fact that he's, uh, spent his whole life uh, in serving others and serving the Lord. That's uh, that's the great thing about President Monson. Something that I remember about President Monson is just how much he loved everyone around him and how he listened to spiritual promptings right away to go visit people or to do something and that's, I need to work on that. So that was a good example to me. Uh, about 20 years ago, 
President Monson gave a talk about virtue and I was studying things in the ancient Greek tradition about virtue so I somewhat presumptuously wrote him a letter about some things I was learning and he wrote me a little note back saying thank you for thinking of me your brother Tom and I think it was more than I deserved um, but I've had a little picture in my office of him for some six, seven years now. He reminds me of his kindness.